Greetings Lux Affluent fam, ready to dive into the lavish world of royalty? Today we're unlocking the opulent secrets of Morocco's royal family. From palatial estates to jaw-dropping extravagance, subscribe now and join us on a journey through the luge life of Moroccan royalty. Philanthropy This royal family isn't just fabulously wealthy, they're extravagantly generous. The Moroccan royal clan never shies away from showcasing their philanthropic spirit. Just a few months back, Princess Lala Salma and King Mohammed of Morocco hosted a dazzling auction and gala to champion various charitable causes, notably equipping cancer treatment facilities with essential supplies. During this opulent evening, they auctioned off treasures like a vintage 1970 Mercedes Cabriolet from the royal collection and masterpieces by Picasso and Chagall. The event raked in a staggering $16 million in proceeds. The Moroccan royal family enjoys a global reputation, revered both at home and abroad thanks to their wide-ranging business endeavors. In 2017, a French television news report titled The King of Morocco and Bay, a tale of boundless generosity, highlighted their positive impact on a small community just 40 kilometers from Paris. For many fortunate enough to have received their generous gifts, this family and king are synonymous with benevolence and opulence. Business Interests The Moroccan royal family wields immense financial power boasting an annual turnover exceeding $3.7 billion. They're the primary stakeholders in SNI, also known as Almada, a colossal private holding company that absorbed the once mighty Omnium Nord African group. Established in 1966, SNI is headquartered in Casablanca, Morocco and operates across diverse sectors, including banking, telecommunications, renewable energy, and the food industry. Their investments extend to major players like Ati Jerry Wafa Bank, Managing Mining Company, Narava Energy Company, Lafarge Cement, and Marjane, ranking among the world's top five private corporations. SNI's reach isn't confined to Morocco. They're channeling resources into other African nations like Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Rwanda, and Gabon. Moreover, the royal family owns the opulent Royal Mansour, a five-star hotel that opened its doors in 2010. Rooms and hotel suites have given way to lavish riads, scattered throughout the charming medina with winding alleys and concealed entrances. These 53 private residences are marvels of unique design, each offering its distinct style across three floors. Choosing one is a memorable experience. When dignitaries visit the king, they often reside at the Royal Mansour Marrakech, a property that generously provides complimentary accommodations amidst its sprawling 1.5 hectares of gardens and pools. The hotel further pampers guests with a luxurious spa and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Additionally, King Mohammed holds ownership of 12,000 hectares of agricultural land and investments in various companies, including a prestigious golf course valued in the millions. Now, let's talk about the members of the royal family. Princess Lala Salma Meet Princess Lala Salma, the remarkable wife of King Mohammed VI, who has leveraged her royal status for numerous philanthropic endeavors. She's been a staunch advocate in the fight against HIV and AIDS in Africa, founded her own cancer charity, and serves as a goodwill ambassador for the World Health Organization. In 2016, during the Obama's visit to Africa, she struck up a remarkable friendship with Michelle Obama, leading to an exchange of lavish gifts. King Mohammed VI presented Barack Obama with a dazzling golden brooch adorned with diamonds and rubies, along with silver earrings and a watch encrusted with emeralds and diamonds valued at $101,200 according to the United States Federal Registry. While Princess Lala Salma keeps a lower public profile these days, she resides in the opulent royal family estate near Rabat's Mohammed VI Polytechnic University. Here she enjoys a serene life with Crown Prince El Hassan and Princess Khadija, nurturing her role as the mother of Morocco's Crown Prince Mulai and Princess Lala. Princess Lara Khadija Princess Lara Khadija, with a reported net worth of $1 to $5 million, is no ordinary royal. Her birth was celebrated with a grand gesture from her father, the king, who granted royal pardons to thousands of prisoners. But the generosity didn't stop there. All girls born on that special day receive extravagant gifts, known as the Princess of Hearts. At just 13 years old, she graced the cover of FTM, Femmes du Maroc magazine. She's no stranger to official events and has even met visiting royalty like Don Philippe VI and Queen Donna Letizia of Spain. Princess Lara Khadija resides with their mother, Princess Lara Salma, at the royal family estate in Rabat. Their family vacations are equally impressive, 
with trips to New York and the Greek island of Skiathos. During their Greek getaway, media attention swirled when Princess Lala Salma rented the luxurious yacht Serenity, which comes with a weekly price tag of 550,000 euros. While they may not own a super yacht, it's clear that they have no shortage of resources to enjoy such indulgences whenever they please. If you are part of Morocco's royal family, what's the one luxury you'd indulge in the most? Tell us in the comments. Crown Prince Moulay Hassan Prince Moulay Hassan, with an impressive net worth estimated at $1.5 billion, ranks among the world's wealthiest teenagers, trailing only behind British royal Prince George and Princess Charlotte. This young crown prince has earned the admiration of the global media, receiving praise for his multilingual abilities. He's fluent in Arabic, English, French, and Spanish, as noted by Spain's second largest daily newspaper, El Mundo. Described as wise beyond his years by Moroccan World News, he's a beloved figure among the youth in Morocco, often photographed with football teams at the FIFA World Cup and boasting a substantial female fan base. Whenever Mohammed VI make appearances, be it international summits, Moroccan exhibitions, high-profile celebrity funerals in Paris, or hosting British royals like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in Rabat, Crown Prince Moulay Hassan is often by his side. To facilitate his royal duties, the Gulfstream G650 plane is employed for globetrotting, a luxurious aircraft valued at $67.5 million. Equipped with an additional $20 million Israeli J-Music missile defense system, making it one of the market's most opulent VIP aircraft. You can identify him as Majesty Moulay Hassan, thanks to the license plate CNAMH. With ample space for four crew members and eight passenger seats, there's room for his friends too. But his fascination with planes doesn't stop at flying. He aspires to pursue aviation as a career. To follow his dreams, Crown Prince Moulay Hassan plans to undertake the rigorous entrance test for the coveted Royal Aeronautical School, CRPTA. King Mohammed VI Forbes, the renowned US business magazine, has ranked King Mohammed VI of Morocco as the world's fifth richest monarch, a truly exclusive club. This monarch's opulent lifestyle includes a network of 12 meticulously maintained palaces worldwide, each kept at a constant temperature of 17 degrees. The central residence for His Majesty and his family is the Dar el Makzen Palace, also known as the Palais Royal, nestled in Fez. The royal collection also includes palaces in Rabat, Marrakesh, and an attention-grabbing $500 million acquisition in the United States. With numerous palaces comes numerous parking spots, housing an impressive fleet of luxury vehicles like Maybachs, Ferraris, Aston Martins, and more. King Mohammed VI boasts ownership of over 600 vehicles, valued at around $400 million, a collection that would undoubtedly incur substantial car taxes. If this doesn't define opulence, consider his private Boeing 747K, meticulously outfitted with state-of-the-art amenities and personalized touches. The Royal Air Maroc airline operates both the King's Boeing 747 and his son's Gulfstream G650. The royal family's annual expenses are estimated at a staggering $263 million, with a notable $1.8 million earmark for animal care. King Mohammed VI takes pride in his stable of fine stallions, including top-ranked bay stallion Quickly the Kreisker. He even supports Olympian equestrian Abdel Kibir Qadar with horses for training and competitions. In a true display of extravagance, the king flaunts his lavish attire, complete with diamond-encrusted timepieces worth over $1 million, a fashion statement that once graced his Instagram in 2018. Maintenance Maintaining a fleet of vehicles and a network of palaces comes at a hefty price. The Dar el Makhazen Palace, for instance, commands a daily operating budget of $960,000, primarily allocated to automotive repair and clothing. Forbes reveals that the palace incurs annual costs of $355,000 for fuel, $732,000 for telephones, and $771,000 for combined electricity and water expenses. Stationery and office supplies alone set them back $74,000 each year, adding up to a monthly bill of $147,000. And let's not forget the substantial $1.8 million annual expense for animal feed translating to $150,000 per month. Thanks for indulging in the royal grandeur with us today on Lugs Fluent. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay in loop for more luxury-laden adventures. Get fluent, stay fluent, and keep living the luge life.